Hi, I'm Kim Lyons and I'm here with Amy Jo and Adam and this is your Journey Gym 20 minute full body workout. Alright, let's get started with a basic march. This is your warm up, just getting your body and your mind ready for exercise. This is 20 minutes long so pace yourself and take this workout at your level. Challenge yourself, but don't overdo it. Doesn't it feel good to be exercising? I mean, this is what it's all about. Getting in better shape and staying in shape and having fun doing it. Really pump those arms, nice deep breaths, and get those knees up. Find your own little rhythm, you're halfway done. Feeling good, getting all ready for a great workout. And if at any time you need to grab some water or take a little break, do so, but make it quick. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's get started with an upper body row. Grab that handle, step up onto your journey gym, and we're gonna row across our body. Here we go. Lift, lift, lift. Working that upper body with a good tight row. We're gonna do this for 60 seconds, followed by 60 seconds of a cardio move to get that heart rate pumping. Bring that elbow up nice and high, you guys. Bending the knees just slightly at the bottom. Really pumping that arm. You're halfway done, stick with me. Keep going. Whew. Are you feeling it yet? You should be. Good job, you guys. Let's do three, two, and one. Put down that handle, and we're gonna go straight into a speed skate. You guys ready back there? Let's do it. Cross it back and forth, touching the edge of that journey gym. Crossing the leg and back. Nice, comfortable, controlled pace. And I want you to visualize here. Visualize you're in the Olympics and you're just racing around that track. You can be ice skating, you can be rollerblading, whatever you enjoy. Keeping that heart rate up, burning calories. Whew, I'm feeling my heart rate. You're more than halfway done, you guys. Keep going, side to side. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, grab that other handle this time. And you guessed it, we gotta do the other side. You guys ready behind me? Let's do it. Row, row, row. Nice and controlled. Nice deep breaths. Even though your body's still pumping, the heart rate's still up. But concentrate on your form. Remember, slight bend of the knees as you bring that arm up and down. Halfway done. Feeling good yet? Keep going, pull that arm up. You're almost done. I know you feel the burn, but don't quit. Good. Couple more, let's go three. Two and one, good. Handle goes down. Whew, I don't think my heart rate came down yet, but we're gonna go right into a jump squat. You guys ready? Let's go. Bring those feet out and in, getting that butt nice and low. It's one of my all time favorite moves because it's kind of hitting two birds with one stone, if you will. Getting the heart rate up and tightening and toning the lower body. Whew. Wow. I'm a little winded over here. Keep going. 
I can hear you guys breathing behind me too. I like it. Good, we're halfway done. If you need to slow down a little bit, you can. But I really encourage you to challenge yourself. Push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. Toughen up and get your body moving. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it out. Take a quick deep breath and let's go again. Grab that handle. We're going to do a bicep curl. Really tone up the bicep. You guys ready? You ready at home? Let's go. Squeeze that bicep up and down. Concentrate here on catching your breath. Nice deep breaths. Focusing on this muscle right here. Squeeze that muscle. Get that mind-muscle connection so that you can get the most out of every exercise. Notice how my upper body stays nice and strong. I'm not using momentum here at all. Keep it everything stable. The only thing that should be moving is your elbow as you bend and straighten that arm to squeeze that bicep. We're almost done. Keep going. Let's go five more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Just when you thought you are going to get a little break, I'm going to make you do more speed skates. You guys ready? Let's go. Back and forth. Keep it controlled. And once you get your rhythm, let's speed it up a little bit. You ready? And go, 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 go. Good job. I know you're feeling that heart rate come up now. Swing those arms side to side, nice and controlled. Bring that foot and back. Stick with me, you're halfway done. Use that visualization. Visualize yourself strong and fast. You're doing it, guys. Stick with it. Come on. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it out. Other side, bicep curls. Grab that handle. Are we ready? Let's do it. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeezing that bicep and concentrating on breathing deep. Whew. Catch your breath again. These kind of workouts are great because you're going to burn a ton of calories while you're doing those cardio moves and at the same time you're getting all the benefits of resistance training. Nice deep breaths. You're more than halfway done you guys. Think about how you want your body to look. Visualization is so important. Let's do three more. Two and one. Excellent. And just when your heart rate comes down, you know what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna make it go right back up again. You guys ready? Jump squats. I'm gonna twist it up a little bit here and make you hold a couple. So listen to me on my cues, starting with the jump squat. Here we go. Down and up. Okay, now listen up. We're gonna do three more, and then we're gonna hold it. Here's three, two. Now hold this one, hold it down. Small pulses, feel those legs burn a little bit. Squeezing those legs, hold it, hold it. Going back to the jump squat in three, two, one, and in and out. You guys feel that burn? Come on, you kind of like it a little bit, right? We're halfway done. 
halfway done. Whew. Okay, we're gonna do three more and we're gonna hold it out again. Here's three, two, one. Now watch my feet, fast feet. Move those toes as fast as you can. I like to think of football players here. You see them on that start line, they're just like, Arr! they're all aggressive. Okay, here we go. Keep those feet moving and bring it up. Feel that burn? I'm feeling it. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break and switch the handles to the side positions. Okay, now we've got the handles in the side position. Let's start with the chest press. So go ahead and position yourself onto the step. Grab those handles. All right, how are we doing? You guys ready? Let's do this chest press. Lift up and down. Up and down. It's kind of nice getting a little mini break here in the middle of the workout. Focusing on squeezing those muscles, getting those arms all the way straight at the top of the chest press. Catch your breath, because we got a tough rest of this workout coming up. We're gonna really focus on the lower body on the second half of this workout. We're more than halfway done, keep going. Let's do five more, four, three, two, and one. Good, put those handles down. Go ahead and come on up. And you know what's next. That heart rate's gotta come back up with a little bit of cardio. High knees, here we go. Lifting those knees up, pumping those arms, Think of it as if you're running through tires. You gotta get those knees up, get those feet nice and high. Have fun with it. Bop around a little bit. Turn on some great music, listen to the beat, and just move those legs. Keep going, you guys. Don't forget to breathe. And make sure you stay clear of the handles. You don't wanna trip on those. So make sure you get those knees up. Make sure you have plenty of space. You're more than halfway done, guys. And don't hold your breath. I want to hear you breathing. I know I'm feeling it. Keep going. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, catch your breath, grab your handles. We're gonna do a nice close leg squat. So for this one, you're gonna deploy the handles out to a little about up here. Bring those handles up into the squat position. Bend those knees. Here we go. Nice and low and stand up. Nice and low and up. Now notice my pace here is nice and slow. You don't need to move fast here. We're working some pretty big muscle groups. Really concentrate on getting those legs all the way straight and squeezing those glutes at the top of the move. You're halfway done, gang. Focus the second half on getting a little bit lower into that squat. Really sit back into those hips. Visualize sitting down in a chair and standing back up. Keep going. Let's do three more. Two, and last one. Good job. Put those handles down. Whew, feel that? We're gonna take a nice little break here and just do a basic march on the step. Stepping up and down onto the step. Here we go. Use that journey gym. Concentrate here. Pump your arms. Like I said, we're gonna focus the second half of this workout on some tough lower body stuff. Be tough, get it done, and see results. That's what the Journey Gym workouts are all about. 
You're focusing here. Just nice step up and down. What are your arms doing? Use them. Think about it. I see a lot of people do this. I don't like this. I want good posture, arms pumping, good attitudes, having fun, working out on your journey, Jim. We're almost there. I know you guys are loving this part of it. It's like a little break. Okay, three more, two, and one. Excellent. Now we're gonna do an upright row. Go ahead and grab those handles. You're gonna deploy them up so that you're standing with no resistance or tension on those straps. We're gonna bring the elbows up as if you're a puppet and the strings are attached to your elbows. You're gonna lift up and lower. Lift up and lower. Now really focus here on my posture. My neck and shoulders are nice and relaxed. The motion is just like I said. If you're a puppet, those strings are attached to your elbows and you're relaxed as you pull it all the way up and straighten those arms all the way down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. We're about halfway done, you guys. Stick with it. Lifting up and down. Catching your breath, because you know I'm gonna make that heart rate come up again next. Lift up and down. Up and down. How are you doing up there, Adam? Good? Doing all right back there, Amy Joe. All right, let's do three more. Here's three, two, and last one. Good job, put those handles down. We're gonna go straight into the mountain climbers. Those hands go on the end of your journey, Jim. Get that body in a nice, tight plank position and we're gonna bring those knees in and out to the chest. Here we go, in and out. Nice and comfortable, keeping those hips really low. And trust me, I know you feel this in your shoulders, I do too. We just worked that upper body. Now we're gonna work the lower body, get the heart rate up. Don't hold your breath. The secret to this exercise is keeping those abs really tight. I'm gonna mix it up here a little bit. So listen up. Go ahead and bring those legs out to the plank position and hold them there. We're gonna jack in and out with the legs. Here we go. In, out, good. Keep going. Let's do 10 more, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good job. Now, we're gonna pump into some really great lower body exercises here. Toughen up for this, because it's not gonna be easy. Grab those handles, we're gonna do a stationary lunge. We're gonna place one foot on the step, deploy those handles up, Bring them up to shoulder width. Now your upper body's gonna stay just like this. And we're gonna go into a stationary lunge. Get that back leg back nice and far so you're up on the toe in the back foot and the heel in the front foot. Here we go. Straight down and up. Down and up. Trying to get a full range of motion here. Drop that knee all the way down. Nice and low. You're gonna feel these. And I'm gonna switch it up for you about halfway through. So stick with it. I'm gonna do 10 more of these. Nine, eight, seven, six, five more. Four, three, two, one. Now watch it here, I'm gonna mix it up. We're gonna lift the glute and down. Lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift, Lower. Squeeze that glute as you come up. I'm working the heck out of your buns here. Okay, let's go three more. Two and one. Now set those handles down just like they are. Right by the side here, keep that foot on the step. Here we go with the repeater lunge. You guys ready? Let's do it. Get that heart rate up as you pump that leg in and out. Feel that burn right where you wanna feel it. 
I wasn't kidding when I said I was gonna work that lower body. We're going for a whole minute here. Breathing is really important. If you need to slow it down, you can, but try not to quit. We are almost done. Here's your halfway point. Don't quit. Keep going. Really explode off that back foot. Bring that knee in. Keep that upper body tight. Stay with me. I know you want to quit. Don't do it. This is when your body's going to change. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake it out. That's tough, right? You guys feel that? Well, guess what? We gotta do the other leg. Here we go, stationary lunge. Bring those handles up. Are you guys ready? Weights on the back toe in the back foot, and then the heel in the front foot. Hips go straight up and down. Let's do it. Down and up. Down and up. You're almost done, you guys. This is the toughest sequence in this whole workout. If you can get through these next three moves, you're home free. Visualize your lower body getting nice and tight and toned, getting your workout done. All right, let's do three more, two, one. Let's bring in that glute. Down, lift, lift, lift. Squeeze that glute as you come up. Keep going. Here we go. Last three, two, and one. Good, handles go down. Are you guys ready? I want you to toughen up and do this repeater lunge with me. One minute, let's go. Pump those arms, bring that knee in and out. Really drive those arms, visualize. You can do anything you put your mind to. It's only a minute, you can do it. And remember, the more consistent you are with this workout, the easier it will get every time you do it. You're halfway done. Come on. It's easy from here on out, you guys. Keep going. Count it out with me. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, I lied. Come on, 10 more, let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I know it's kind of mean, but trainers love to do that. Okay, grab those handles. I'll be a little bit nice to you right here. Leave them down, stand up nice and tall. We're gonna do some calf raises. We can do that, right? Ready, bring it up and down, up and down. Relax those shoulders, concentrate, bringing that heart rate back down, coming all the way up onto the balls of your feet, squeezing that calf muscle. Lift and lower, lift and lower. We're so close to being done. Focus on getting up as high as you can, up onto the ball of your feet. More than halfway done. Relax all the stress out of your neck and shoulders. And let's do five more. Four, three, two, and last one. Good job. We are done hammering the lower body. We're going to do one more exercise here to help tighten up your abs and your lower back, otherwise known as your core. So let's do a plank. Ready? Bring those forearms down onto your journey gym. 
keeping the body nice and tight, nice and level. This is it, we're doing it. You'll feel it any minute now. <laughs> and if your body quivers a little bit, that's okay. That's totally natural. The more you do this, the more comfortable you'll become with it. Think about keeping those abs extra tight. You don't wanna be up here with the hips and you don't wanna be down here because you'll feel it in your lower back. Nice and tight plank position and hold it. Couple more seconds here. And then just because you know I wouldn't let it end, it's so, so simple, I'm gonna add a little something. You guys ready? Let's add a little leg lift. Alternating those legs, just lifting them one at a time. Just gonna add in a little bit of glutes and make it a little bit more challenging for you. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those feet in. Go ahead and stand up. Let's roll those shoulders to the back. And roll them to the front. Swing that arm around. Just alternate, rotate those shoulders a little bit. Bring those hands to the knees. Bring it down. Just roll that back up and bring it back down. Hold it here, push out slightly on the knees, stretching out those inner thighs. Straighten those legs up, bring the hands to the ground. And you can always just fold them in front of you as well if you'd like. Slowly roll those shoulders all the way back up to the start position. Let's take a nice big breath in. And exhale again, breathe up. And exhale, one more time, breathe in. And exhale. Congratulations, that's your 20 minute workout. Good job, we'll see you next time.